The Portuguese Bend Pony Club is celebrating 50 years here on the hill. In fact, this year has turned out to be a big one for the group as seven girls have qualified for the USPC National Championships. The Pony Club celebrated this golden birthday by inviting many founding members out to share in the fun. Here's more with Lisa Baragosh. Hi, this is Lisa Vergos here reporting from the Portuguese Bend Pony Club. Now, this is a special story for me because I myself was a pony clubber many moons ago, and I'm so excited to take a minute, walk around the grounds, interview some riders, some instructors, and let you know a little bit more about what this wonderful organization is all about. Well, as a very small child, I've always loved horses, and so when um, in elementary school, when I was first able to start riding, um, took lessons at the Portuguese Bend Riding Club and then came over here and we got rolled pony and joined Pony Club here in Portuguese Bend as a probably fourth or fifth grade. And now I'm here as a club officer. Horsemaster is an adult rider who um, participates in the, in the uh, club activities. We board our horse here. We can compete. There are now adult um, competitions for horse masters. And um, it's just the older version of Pony Club, I guess. This is a great place for kids to grow up. You know, you don't have places like this, and it should be honored and cherished and respected and, and supported in, in the ways that any way that it can be by the community. This is where kids learn to, like everything about life, of responsibility, of taking care of horses, working in the environment. They're not sitting in front of TV screens and their monitors and they're on their Facebook accounts or Instagram accounts. This is where kids can be kids. I love Pony Club because it really teaches about teamwork. Pony Club offers to triathlon, which is running, riding, swimming, and shooting. And so I fell in love with to triathlon and I ended up going to nationals in um, Woodside, Champs West for to triathlon and our team won the championships West and I got first place in riding and shooting. I'm here with Scooby and one of the pony clubbers was kind enough to lend him to me so I can go for a little ride and this is quite exciting because it's probably been I don't know maybe 10 years since I've been back to the pony club for a ride and I could not be more excited. Scooby are you excited too? I think he is. <laughs> I'm Ruby, I'm an instructor here at Portuguese Bend Pony Club and I'm about to give Lisa a lesson on Scooby. See if you can keep him trotting through a change of direction. You can do like a, a reverse around the cones if you want it even. <laughs> he's making you work for it. If he's ignoring your leg, give him a big old kick. Like I said, he's green but he's not reactive to that. There, do you feel him stretching down right there? That's great. I had a couple of off-the-track race horses, and uh, I donated them to the Pony Club. And those horses went on to be owned specifically by certain Portuguese Bend Pony Clubbers. They, they actually um, adopted them from the Pony Club, and those girls went on to become professional equestrians as well. I've been coming to Pony Club for four years. This is Nemo, our horse behind us. <laughs> My favorite trick to do in Pony Club is jump with no stirrups. It means that you jump but you don't have your feet in the stirrups so you're kind of like free. The, the scariest moment was when I first started riding Nemo and he took off in the dressage arena and I fell off because he was like at a full gallop and then he stopped and I fell off but it was awesome. People should join Pony Club because you make a lot of friends and you get to spend your day with these beautiful um, horses and ponies. Well, that's a wrap from the Portuguese Ben Pony Club's 50th anniversary celebration and what a day it's been. We've had a blast and it's been so great to meet some of the horses and riders and instructors. What a fantastic organization. Well, that's it for Scooby and I. This is Lisa Vergos reporting for RPV-TV.